Okay, what I want to show in this video are the differences between the Toyota 4AG big port piston and the small port piston. When you first look at these pistons, they, they seem to be completely uh, almost identical, however they are not and there are some important differences. Uh, the most obvious difference is of course the dish that you can see on the small port piston. Uh, this dish is rather small, however it makes for an important difference in the compression ratio of the engine. The small port engine is actually rated uh, at 10.3 to 1 compression ratio and the big port uh, uh, and uh, yeah, the big port 4AG is rated at 9.4 to 1 compression ratio. Uh, this dome uh, has actually a volume of 0 0.25 uh, cc. <sighs> that is of course the most important uh, difference. The next difference is, is, is these um, cutouts that you can see on the small port that are not visible on the big port on either side. It actually doesn't have them. They are only on one side of the small port. And these are actually cutouts for the oil cooler jets that can be found in the small port. Uh, the third difference being uh, be between these pistons is the is the thickness. I don't know if you can see uh, if you can see uh, uh, just by looking at it with your naked eye. But the the first compression, uh, the first uh, piston ring uh, is thinner on the small port. And I believe some of the other there are also differences in other piston in piston rings between these two pistons. This is a Toyota. OEM piston. This is a Toyota OEM piston. This is an aftermarket piston made by Perfect Circle. It's actually made in Taiwan. Uh, the only difference being that you cannot see a Toyota logo. Otherwise, they are they are completely identical. Inside, as you can also see, they are basically the same. Uh, both have uh, both have coatings uh, on the on the on the upper on the dome. And let's weigh them to see to see some weight differences. Here we have a little precision scale. May may not be the most accurate in the world, but uh, let's let's put the big part first. And as we can see, that's 313.5 grams. And the small port is slightly heavier. I don't know if the OEM small port weighs just as much as this perfect circle but it's 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 this one is is a bit heavier than the than the big port it's it stands at uh, 329.6 grams uh, here we also have the wrist pins this is the this is the wrist pin of the of the big port it actually came from my engine this is used this has never been used uh, the pins are slightly different as you can see the big port pin uh, the big port pin is actually thicker. Uh, it has these thicker walls, and it is uh, it is heavier. This is 97.9 grams, and the small port wrist pin is actually 85. Point something four grams, four three point three grams, and that will be pretty much it. They of course have uh, the, the same the same bore diameters. 81 millimeter. This is actually 0 0.5 oversized, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, the the OEM seems to be a bit shinier. I don't know if that is from 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 being in the engine and being used. Uh, otherwise, both are both are really good pistons. Work just fine. Uh, check out my other video to see what type of uh, piston rings to use for the small port pistons. Piston rings can actually be pretty hard to uh, to find for the small port. But there is a solution, and you can actually use uh, Honda Prelude uh, piston rings on on this Toyota piston. Thanks for watching.